دارد نه نه داریم باد دماس ایا این ایم این ایم با کت چاچی کوکو پاراسی آتی آکوکو کوانتی خم ایم کای کوکای کوکای told you I'm Motswana, you're Motswana. Yeah, that is your nationality. Yeah, but why bring the Tswana culture on us? Being like my identity is like who I am. I am Naro. Mm. I'm a Sen. In the country here, we have got about uh, 15 different kinds of sand communities. One thing which differs us is the, the, the geographical landscapes. Others with somewhere in the sand, somewhere on the, on the rocks, and the languages also differs. So if the, somebody from here, when he speaks, uh, people from the Sunday Caribbean, they cannot hear, they cannot, they don't understand him. And the hunting skills, what I've learned is that they are just the same. So it's not much different. But you can't practice culture without land. You can't have any economy without land. ตาโคตาทาปุ๋ยขนาดอาราตาอืมตาดินคือในขณะที่สกิสกันนะเอ่อคุณนี่ขณะที่เบรซะขันนี่กูกูอุ้งอันอันนั้นใครขันนี่
Miss <laughs> As a hunter and gatherers, if you found hunting without a special license, you have illegal hunting and you find a sentence of a year in prison or a sentence of 2,500 pula. So these laws and policies makes us difficult and we're intimidated to believe on them. The system, the way it's designed, everything is, a, is prison now. <laughs> You do your culture, you go to prison. You are a poacher. <laughs> and the government will never allow us. Like for example, look at CKGR. They have safaris and stuff like that. But that is not their, their, their ancestors' place. It's our ancestors' place. You see? Chi tiro e co curi, 
In Botswana, yeah, some will, will have to say Mosara, some will say Mosara Shin, sorts of names. Obviously, uh, these uh, names, they are associated with some negative things. They mean something negative. Those who don't own anything, those who do not own, that's what it means when you say Masaro. When we have uh, your mindset believing that one is nothing, you can call him anything. We can say this dog, but it doesn't matter. When you are financially struggling, you normally have to to be exposed to a negative things. So if you if you can imagine most of the young people not employed in just roomy in the in the village, you should expect many negative things. You think about the same thing all the time. You do the same same things all the time. And the people around you they do the same thing as you are, <laughs> sitting, playing a small game, then it's already a dawn. Ah. Tomorrow, the same thing. Same place. Same place. <laughs> Going to house to house, checking friends, and then you, for you forgot your life. When are you going to absorb other things from outside? and bring them into your community. Guru Development Trust yeah, is a trust owned by Sen people. It's an organization for self-development to make us believe in ourselves, to know who we are, and to move forward as we are. This trust has programs. We have Guru Museum, Guru Game Farm, Guru Art Project. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm s
yano tira ko tira sa artist ko ko kwa ngerika adam ko ngerika drawing ko ngerika ay para ngerika ko yani kaya ko ko mtamu ko yesa ng ngerika uwan ko zar ko sino zar ko si kuzi kuru ko ng mtamu ko ko sino ay para tutsa kuska ko ko yesa ara kaba ng mas kadi ko yano zar ko na yano zar ko si kaya kuzi ng si kuru ko zar ko sino ay para tutsa kuska ko ko yesa छूटा और कर को मते इकुन कम को मसिर सिरा और कलक का तो कब को मते इकुन को में ना तेर का मसिर सिर का तो कोई का ही नहीं को में उखल मज़ खुजी को मचारा जो खुजी खाता हूँ को हाँ ना को मुंह कौन थे अगर कुछ दुआ ना उठाओ, अमाए एको पोनी, अमाए तमाए पोनी, कमाए तमाए क्या है सिंदूर फूल Kerja 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 kan? Nee, nee, tapi memang saya kata dekat. Ah, kalau kau uji ni kau ibu tu. Ah, mungkin dia kau kisah semua tu. Kisah saya mahu kau lapun buku tu mahu lapun tua, ar tua. Ibu ayah, nee kau ibu si. Eh, kalau guru tak ada si, ibu sana kau sa. Isteri tak kau bisa, kau kau sa kau sa. Jauh, di order. Kau pun perlu kau sibo, jauh ini malu aku, aku tak aku mai tak kaya tak aku. Kau tak 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 kau tak
Dika is the only land owned by San people in Botswana. Dika is a commercial farm. It's not a tribal land. So Dika is managed by the church. It's both uh, good and not good because government wants to take the car. So they will say they will not provide certain uh, services to the car because the car is a farm. Stui Hangasa de Masse as a go hastim cover, Uamasa has go hastitable gun a gamb. Yano ha kai e e tuiska ha e kaisitabulu tuiska gaan titi. Aile hori daran ku hana hori nyame e e ngatataga magkai e tan dara kuwa kana ai ngok au kutei au kai dara ya. Butu ka ha e tuiska ha nam kaba ama kako kari khorma tuisku ku hata uwe tata tuo kaya. There is no how government can assist the people who are living here. Because like older if you go to other settlements, the government builds houses for old people, brick houses for old people and even cattle. Government is giving some cattle to other people who are staying in, this, in the settlements. But for us here, yeah, they, they say there's no way we can graze our cattle, so, so it's very bad for us here. The government said that give us the land, we want to develop you in the land. And the church said that the land belongs to us and is and to our people. If you want to help them, come and just do the help. Do everything you want to do for these people here. If you bring everybody to come in there, they will come there, people will come with power, with money, with everything. They will buy out the land from us and they will not have any reverence. go to New York there's a beautiful clinic. There's a beautiful school. There are teachers there. There are nurses there. They teach, but if you go to the rates of different kind of diseases, like tuberculosis, drinking and people drinking every day, that's the disease which I see. Yeah, the older people, they feel bad about the way the younger generation now, they use the substances and, and the alcohol. Even smaller children, younger children, they drink. 
and then they misunderstand each other. They fight, kill each other. And these things we didn't do. In the old days, we didn't know of such things. Ba <laughs> Abe <laughs> Quaker <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Kiha <laughs> Come, <laughs> 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 Yanako <laughs> Yaha go kiri toha, mari toha, a tas at Kuyama. At one no tas, 
In 2002, now they come up and say that it's enough. It's enough. We are not going to continue bouncing water and bringing food. We move everybody. They even set a date and say in two weeks we'll be here. So in two weeks they come, they pour out the water, they take everything which belongs to government, they shut the boreholes, they seal them, and they put everybody in trucks. They bring the police, they bring the army, they come with everything, which makes it much, much, much threatening to everybody to move. And then I'm telling you, 90% of people moved by 2002. That is a time when I and my organization now come and say that, let's approach court. But that was not a victory which they should celebrate. Then come another challenge again. Because the court has said that you government, you are not obliged to give the service to IO services. So that makes the government to have got more much power and say, we will stay by the policy of the game reserve. But we are not obliged to give services and will more punish these people by not giving special and services and starve them and they will agree with us. So all along, the issue is that we are the government. We have got power. We have given everything. Whatever we want, we'll make them or we'll force them to do what we want. So this has been an issue. And somebody asked himself, is this sustainable? In a single trip, bouncing water is about uh, 3,600 US dollars for a single trip. So this is done on a monthly basis. And if you multiply that money in a year, that's a lot of money. It can drill and equip borehole, which is going to be sustainable. They could find food themselves without anybody giving or telling them to find food. Our government is not prepared to sit in a table with us in any way. Though they, they, they will go out and say, our government is a government that consult. Consulting who, how? If you are not part of the, the, the structures that they are making decisions, 
is a problem. We need to empower youth, we need to empower women. We talk about people with disability, but we not, never talk about the minority, to be part of the system. We are excluded. We are seen and we are looked as stupid people. Someone else somewhere will think about us and know what to tell us and what to give us. And they have encouraged what we call the dependency syndrome. And I'm afraid, is this not the kind of way of finishing us in this country? Because if we don't have food, if we cannot find food for ourselves, we are going to be beggars forever. What is encouraging us? I'm worried about this. I am proud of being a same person because we know how to live on this land together with our, our animals. It's only in the modern days that we are unable to earn our own living. But we are proud that we are the first people of this Southern Africa. Sa <laughs> Nakata, <laughs> 
raga kurung maska Kuren era aku Tami ngiska iha baha darum ko nakha ini tan ara nuku komentar ko ata istesa isma i ずるこれ Your grand have to teach you because he's open to you. Open him meaning that he will tell you all the challenges in life. Your, your father is like somebody very close to you. And there are some of the things which your father doesn't have to tell you. Like if we talk about relationships, your father doesn't have to talk about relationship with you. But your grandfather can tell you his relationship that I have gone. So, that's why he should be the person who's growing up. Tuan <laughs>
Music in send people. It's something that is really deep. When somebody is in the music, they can get in the trends. Then we beat it a beat up, yeah, uh, like a marimba. You want yeah. a marimba? <laughs> it's a marimba. <laughs> Right now, we have a bigger dream. It's not just only music that we want to, to have. We also want to you know, help our people. The lifestyle that, that, is, that we live, that is, you know, that is in, in our community. You know, people drink a lot. People smoke a lot and they forget about grooming the younger people uh, to be responsible. So right now, because, yeah, I have a little baby girl, man. Uh -huh. I'm a father, that's why oh, I've, been, yeah, yeah. I've been missing in the scene. Man. We want to put more fire, man. More fire. 2020, mm. we keep the fire burning ben. for the UNB. <laughs> I, my plan is to teach them so that they can know who they are. I want you to, you know, like set goals and dreams, inspire. I, I think we need inspiration. I know that's been a story, and there's no the truth behind it. We've long been asking records, bring it in records, and say that they were overhunting. They call our way of life poaching. We're not poachers. We hunt to survive, and we know when to hunt. What? Where? 1997, between 1997 and 2000, the report, Wildlife Purposes Census, shows that there were a lot of animals. And after relocation, there were fewer animals. Climate change is hitting us. The entire world is now crying. Agriculture has been hit by climate change. Tourism still survives in this country. We are the only people which can promote tourism in this country because we know wild animals 
because of our lands, I mean, our, 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 our cultural uh, standards and activities, they can improve the economy of this country and tourism. So this is one of the things which are very, very important. We say pause, come to us, learn from us. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Mostly, you know, we use our language, our mother tongue. <laughs> like he uses uh, Sakalahadi, uh, we use mostly Naro and English. All of us, like we use English. I could call it it's it's activism for the rights of the same people. We are a marginalized and minority group. It's a pity that things are the way they are. You know, most of the same people are not really educated. Uh, you see, us, we've been to school. That's, that's why you, you see us having confidence. And that's why you see us having a vision of where we are going. So mostly it's besides the poverty that we live in, uh, one needs to be educated in this era. We used to be a nomadic people, open-minded, to going, traveling, different exploring. places, exploring. You know, there are fences also in our minds, just <laughs> like the way there are a lot of fences around us. Nowadays, we don't move a lot, and our minds are secluded. So the mindset of the same people has to also change. But I'm not saying they should change their, their, their culture. So education is key to breaking us out of that, that shell of being closed in the same place. And now I've encouraged a lot of young people and the universities, certain communities that are coming up talking about issues. And some of them are joining me in politics. So I think like doing that, the numbers when they grow, 
I think we'll have a strong voice. Kau <laughs> 